Yo, what's up everybody? This is Black Mama here doing another Ross review for a Surak from XQ Order 66. He's running Jedi Knight Revan and Rebels in the respective fleet or arenas. He's got a couple gear 13s, that's what I like to see. 2.8 mil roster. Let's go ahead and sport, uh, sort by those speed mods. Okay, so he's running Jedi Knight Revan, so it's perfect that his Jedi Knight Revan is the fastest. 292, that's a terrific speed. Always more speed the better. He's got full Zated. He has Anakin at gear 13 with some nasty critical damage, some high offense. That's what I like to see. Let's see, and then GMY at a good 271 and pretty high special offense. Then Bosk CLS R2 Padme. I like it, I like it, I like it. Alrighty. So let's go ahead and let's see. So what exactly are you running in? Let's see, you're running Okay, so the classic team. Okay. I see. Solid. So how are your 501st really quick? Okay, so you have not begun gearing them. No harm, no foul. Um, I can almost guarantee they'll be used very soon and might be one of the top three factions in the game. We will see. So just keep an eye out for them. Uh, might be important to favorite them pretty soon. Uh, let's see, you're running, sorry, I got a notification, got distracted. I apologize. You are my most important thing right now at this moment in time. Okay, so you're running Bosk, Boba Django, Greedo Cat, and Zam, and IG-88. Okay, so of these seven you have, I would recommend focusing on Bosk, Boba, Django, Zam and probably Greedo probably Greedo uh, let's see the reason for this is because Zam is unique not very many people have her and she's super fun to use this game's all about fun so that's why I recommend Zam of these and Greedo can just get out of hand sometimes but I saw Bosk was one of your fastest characters 103, that is terrific. But the thing I'm seeing right here, I wish I could zoom in, you have 39% tenacity. That is a big N-O. So Bosk with tenacity is a pain in the rear. It's not fun to deal with when you're trying to face somebody uh, with a high tenacity Bosk. So if I were you, I would do four speed mods, and instead of two health mods, I'd put two tenacity mods with a tenacity cross. You can keep the protection here and protection here. Oh, so yeah, switch this to protection. Uh, but do protection here, protection here, and then tenacity here. And then in the secondaries, obviously go for speed, which you have. But focus on also tenacity in the secondaries as well. Uh, and then find a speed mod that... I mean, you have 10% protection, but but try to find one that has very high tenacity in the secondaries for Bosk. Uh, Boba, there you go. Offense or crit damage works for him. Speed's okay. High offense, nothing to critique there. Django should be your fastest bounty hunter of everybody. So he needs to be even faster than Bosk. He doesn't need any other stats. Just speed, speed, and speed. You can put potency here if you want. Offense works. Definitely he needs crit damage here, which you do have. But of course, the Mamba rule is 10 speed secondary in the secondary. <laughs> so, yes. Do add some additional speed in that. And I can see some places that you can add that as well. Uh, of course, getting those speeds would be a great opportunity to check out my speed mod guide it's i go once a day for like five minutes video 
five minute videos if you are curious on how to get faster speed mods. Greedo should be all crit chance, by the way, uh, because of this. Uh, or is it as unique that explains it? Yeah, there it is. Greedo has 15% critical chance, but a 50% chance to attack again, and in parentheses, no cap. So if he just crits, he has a 50% chance to attack again, and if he crits again, another 50, and again, and again, again. I've hit, or I've seen Greedo hit over 10 times in a row. Just boom, 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 boom. So yeah, enough about my sound effects. But yes, crit chance. Um, I would do four crit chance. Actually, you know what? I might even suggest six crit chance. Uh, ignore that text. Let me, whoops, turn on that. I would definitely recommend getting his crit chance to as high as 100% if possible. So he has 15%. So get to 85% crit chance and you're golden. So 85% would equal 100 because of his unique. And then he can just hit over and over and over again. And the rest should just pretty much follow. And Zam, pure speed. Nothing else but speed. We looked over clone troopers. How are your droids? You've got the double Zeta Grievous. That is fantastic. You've got the B2 Zeta. That's great. Uh, Magna Guard IG-100. Uh, takes a freaking buttload of Carbontes. Uh, but after you get through the Carbonti phase... He is so worth it. He is just such a beast of a tank. And then uh, B1 and Droidica are your other two. You're, they're both six stars. So fantastic on that. They are very long farms, and it looks like you're almost done. Uh, B1, even at gear like four, uh, is worth the Zeta. I'm not even kidding. All it does is just double his survivability. 100 stacks is huge to start the battle with. So definitely, uh, after I mean after this video, I will recommend Zetas, but that would be one of the first ones I see is a B1 Zeta for sure. That's the only Zeta that is necessary of the Droid or the Grievous team. Let's see. You have HQ4. You have double Zeta 3PO. Nice work. Seven stars. Oh, uh, B2, mod him for... Yeah, so don't do not do offense. Just letting you know. Don't do offense. Do uh, tenacity and potency. So try, try to get away um, or get the ability to do 100% potency and 100% tenacity. So, for example, let's say you have four potency mods. So, you know, the, the circle sniper mod, whatever you want to call it. So, for example, you have four potency mods um, and two tenacity, which equals your six. Then that would probably put you over 100% potency, but it wouldn't give you 100% tenacity. So then the orange lettering here, primary, make that tenacity. So then you would have four potency mods, two tenacity, but with a tenacity focus on this one so just a, a way to get close to 100 percent both because tenacity is so big on this guy and same with potency and then you don't need to worry about speed at all 57 is perfectly fine this guy doesn't rely on speed because he gets so much tm from um his allies getting damaged and whatever <clears throat> uh but you could even do you could straight up do protection Primary on this, protection on this, he does not need crit damage. He is not a damage dealer. Like I said, either do potency or tenacity, depends on what mods you have available, and protection here. So that would be how I'd mod him. Grievous should be all health, which you do have. Fantastic work. Uh, and then the rest will come to time. Empire, you've got Palpatine Zeta. Uh, definitely work on your Thrawn a bit. He is 
the, in my opinion, if you take out Malik, so not including Malik, Thrawn is the best all-around character in the game. Best plug-and-play character. You can put him on any team and he'll thrive. Just, I, I, I would say he's the best character in the game if you don't include Malik. So definitely work on your Thrawn. Uh, he is the counter to every meta. Like, every meta. Um, so yeah, definitely work on that. Ewoks are probably phenomenal since you have 7-star 3PO. They are. Great work. First Order are in a great spot. So if I were you, I would drop Phasma. So just like don't don't gear her anymore. Uh, work on First Order Executioner. He's a very easy cantina farm. Uh, so go Kylo Ren, Kylo Ren, First Order Officer, First Order Stormtrooper, and First Order Executioner. So First Order Tide Pilot also stopped the gear on him. Gear 11 is perfectly fine because he has a, he's, he is a pilot, so that'll work for his ship. But the first three on the left, top left, and then the last two on the top right would be your focus for First Order as well. Uh, I did see Padme. There she is, top right. So you probably have her lead. You do. Her unique is also phenomenal. That would be another Zeta I would suggest based off looking at your roster. Uh, I'm not seeing Chewbacca. Oh, there he is. No, that's Clone Wars Chewbacca. Oh, no. Regular Chewbacca is Rebel. I'm sorry. Never mind. Uh, Padme. GK. A GK Zeta is also phenomenal. But Padme Unique is first. Uh, what am I missing? Anakin Zeta is not necessary at the current moment. It's pretty much niche for a Darth Revan team. Yeah. yeah you've got it. You've got it covered. How's your GMY modded? Offense. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. We did go over this earlier. Crit damage, phenomenal. Offense, phenomenal. Once you 60... Okay, well, don't 60 this specific mod because it only has 7 speed. But look for a crit dam or sorry, crit chance mod like you do have with offense primary like you do have, but with more speed secondary. And then you can 60 that and you should be golden. How fast is... Okay, so 3PO. Dude, you have 115 speed with no speed mods. Okay, this needs to be potency, by the way. Even though it has... So you can repurpose this. Because this primary stat needs to be potency for 3PO. Just a heads up. How are your Geos? Um, work on Genosh and Brood Alpha. So that would be a farm I would recommend at the current moment. Uh, I always like to check people's chalas. <laughs> Mine look exactly the same. Jedi. Okay. So no, these are these are great. Let's see. Your Jedi Evans modded great. Master Yoda is great. Basilis Sean, speed and potency. Okay, so get her some more speed for sure, which can easily be right there. Definitely get that to plus 10. Get this to plus 10. That's an easy swap out. Uh, definitely plus 10. So look at that. If you add 7, 10, that's 17 plus 5. Dude, that's already 22 speed added. That's 96 speed. So like plus 96. So that's already a huge improvement just by 3 mods, which would improve your arena team dramatically. It's just stuff like that. Jolie should be modded for all health. Beautiful. With health right there. Health again and health. I'm sure you're probably looking for one, but defense is perfectly fine for the time being because it completes a set and it's 15 speed. So I don't, don't fault you for that. I'm sure you are aware that it eventually will need to go to speed, or not speed, uh, health primary. Um, have you ever tried Anakin in a... In a Jedi Knight Revan team, just curious. Um, 
on offense, offensively, take out General Kenobi, put in Jedi Knight Anakin, and climb that way. And then defense overnight, put General Kenobi back in. Just if you want to try that out for size. Could be easier for climbing. Night Sisters look beautiful. One thing to point out, Night Sister Spirit, 100% work on her. She is phenomenal. Uh, I mean, end, end game content, she is the driving force of the Night Sisters. She is the everything. She is the Night Sisters. <laughs> She's the team right there. I mean, okay, I do have to say Old Daka is probably the uh, Night Sister team, but Spirit is what gets the team rolling. If you have a sister that's faster than the opposing team that's battling it, it will cause havoc against your team eh, opponent's team. So definitely work on uh, Spirit. Zombies should be motivated for speed and health. With health there, there you go, perfect. Health and health, okay. That's beautiful, although I saw a 3-speed and a no-speed. So add speed secondaries here and get this up to 10. So you're going to have to swap those two mods out because they're already gold, which is, yeah. So that would be a recommendation of mine. Dock of full health and speed. This works perfectly well with good potency. Great job. Talzin should be speed and potency. Great job. Definitely get some speed up though because, yeah, so plus 10, 11's good. Plus 10 here. Try to get plus 10. So yeah, you, you can see where improvement can be made. Uh, and she should be crit damage, crit chance. Beautiful. Um, speed's fine, but you can always improve. Like, okay, well, slice this bad boy up, dude. It's already two rolls at nine and it's only green you have blue purple and then gold three more chances to roll on that speed i mean just gotta let you know this could be a terrific mod but the chances are very slim just gonna throw that out there because cg hates everybody <laughs> and doesn't give us what we want but you know so be it let's see you have all the Older public character, 7 star. So, hoping you do have Darth Revan. A Great job. Sorry. I had a squirrel moment really quick. Phoenix, our Phoenix. There he is. I knew you had him. Except you're <laughs> missing a mod. Heads up. Uh, in case you want to change that before uh, GAC lock. Just going to throw that out there beautiful beautiful on he doesn't even need more speed than that 86 is perfectly fine crit damage with 18 speed oh well okay here's what i would change uh 10 speed secondary minimum with an offense cross other than that this guy's looking nice and fine chewbacca yeah oh yeah definitely fix that CLS all speed, which you do have. Phenomenal. But um, there's probably a, a mod that doesn't have speed because, well, I mean, he does. Well, it's 99, so, yeah, never mind. You're okay. Try to get him a little faster, but 99 speed's good for now. Let's see here. Do you have JTR? You do. Double Zeta. Nothing to critique here, except do you have crit damage? No, you don't. You have speed. Um, if you can, obviously it's if, a big IF. Try to mod her for crit damage and potency. So, four crit damage mods and two potency mods with a potency here, which you already have the potency here, uh, because... I don't know why she has the title of a tank. <laughs> she is an attacker. I'm not even like, she is an attacker. They should just rename her an attacker because she is not a tank whatsoever. But, you know, whatever, right? Or whatever, CG. Uh, missing a mod here. Make sure you fix that before GAC lock. 
and definitely get him faster. And there you go, perfect improvement. That's plus 10 speed, plus 7 speed that you need to improve on, uh, plus 5 need needed here. And yeah, so some more speed mods there. Let's see, scoundrels. First thing I look for is nest. Okay, there's a character to work on. 100%. She is a top five standalone character. Uh, along with Thrawn, she is phenomenal on any team. She can solo so many or so many teams. Just 1v5, press auto, easy win. So 100% work on Nest for sure. Uh, other than that, your smugglers or scoundrels look great. Uh, we talked about Geos, we talked about B1 and Jordica. Other than that, you are good. Do you, uh, where's Treya? Okay, so you must not have Treya yet. Definitely work towards her. She is a top five team in the game, top five leader in the game. She's phenomenal. She counters absolutely, she probably has, she's probably used for a counter more than any other team. I mean, okay. Take out Darth Revan, duh. He can counter every team in the game. But um, it's like a lot of people put teams on Grand Arena that take a Treya to beat. So just having Treya is phenomenal. So definitely work on Darth Sion, uh, Darth Nihilus, and yeah, and Treya, duh. Uh, so when you, when you unlock Treya, those three, Darth Sion, Darth Nihilus, and Treya should be your focus. They're so good in this game. Darth Revan is for sure a big must. A Sith Trooper is a big must. Sith Marauder is a not must, but great and easy character to get. He's a very easy cantina farm. Uh, fairly easy to gear. Highly recommend him. For a Darth Revan team, you can do Darth Revan... Fallen Bastila, Sith Trooper, Sith Marauder, and HK. Or you could do, I mean, you could do all sorts of the, all sorts of stuff. So, uh, like for me, I do Darth Revan, Bassashan, Sith Trooper, Sith Marauder. Uh, that's what's that? Is that four? What am I missing? I'm missing right now. I'm drawing a blank, dude. Forgive me. Don't even know my own arena team. Let's see. Darth Revan. Oh, duh. Malak. Duh. Duh, duh, duh. Because Malak is stupid. And Malak. But yeah, so since you don't have Malak, Darth Revan, Bastila, Sith Trooper, Sith Marauder, and HK would be phenomenal for your team. That would be my highest recommendation. You have them all right here. Just get the stars, the gear. Um, Sith Trooper can work at... I mean, yeah, just, just work on those guys. Let's see here. So, overall characters I would recommend on gearing would be Thrawn, Darth Revan. Well, Darth Revan's probably a duh. You probably already know that. But Thrawn, Darth Revan... Nest, because uh, Nest is three stars. I'll just start down here. Nest, Sith Trooper. Uh, keep an eye out for the clones, the 501st mainly. Uh, the Geos I'm seeing are gear one. Nihilus, Sith Marauder, Darth Sion, Droidica, Executioner. Um... Spirit and let's see here. We already talked about those two. Yeah, so those would be my main projects for you. Oh, and Padme, for sure. So it's quite a bit of projects, but those are the main ones I'd focus on. They would help your roster out a lot. They're super key to all their factions. And of course, like always, keep farming speed mods. If you need help with some speed mods, go ahead and watch my 
week-long tutorial. It's only five minutes per day, so it's an easy watch. You could probably get the hang of it after two day or two videos. So it's basically just uh, farm some speed mods and you should be golden. So you're probably running rebels in fleet and if you're not you need to because um, your rebels are phenomenal maybe gear up your phoenix maybe to gear 10 that's it 9 or 10 shouldn't be too bad it does help a lot um and bigs to 11 would be my suggestion uh because your rebels are phenomenal especially your hans falcon already gear 12 rebels so that would be my suggestion right there. In starting lineup, I would do Hans Falcon, Ghost, and um, Bosk. Uh, I assume you have Bosk. Yes, Hans Tooth. That would be my starting lineup. So Bosk, Hans Falcon, and Ghost. With the first reinforcement being Phantom 2, then Biggs or Biston's U-Wing as the second reinforcement and then the third being the other one that you choose to do that would be my suggestion if you're not doing that already uh let's see what you're running as fleet okay so yeah i would i would put in phantom 2 as instead of bigs for fleet but i hope you enjoyed if you have any more questions please let me know also try out that uh Jedi Knight Anakin in your Jedi Knight Revan lineup for offense. Don't keep it in on D because you won't have a tank, but try it out for offense. Let me know what you think. It could very easily get you in some higher places. Thanks for watching. As always, take care.